my location. Now, was one of the things that I'm I'm extremely proud of that that we have done in our practice is uh, is a give kids a smile program, which you have some insights, maybe a little bit about yourself. And in this program, basically, the the the, the mindset of the program is to see uh, underprivileged and, and children that have not seen a dentist and they're at their need of, of dental care, of which the picture showed you clearly kind of things that we see. And so that's how it evolved. And for the last five years, I think now, we've been involved with Give Kids a Smile on a regular basis. And we've seen over a, over a thousand uh, children in need of, uh, during that time period, of, of children in need of dental care, a dental home, and also to be, uh, to be kind of motivated and orchestrated to a position where they can start taking care of their mouths. But the thing about our program that I want you to be aware of, Mike, is not, it's not only uh, educating and taking care of the child, it's, 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 it's transforming that information to the parents and to the grandparents because those are the caregivers in many instances that, that really don't know all the things that need to be taken care of in terms of well, hygiene, uh, maintenance, growth and development problems, uh, skeletal problems, and, uh, and, and actually self-esteem problems that can come from poor dental care. One of the great parts about the program is here is uh, we had Nicole Bellin from Operation Smile. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, when they talk about dental care, it's not just for the patient, it's, it's for the entire family. Yeah. So for you guys doing that many, many procedures, helping that many families, it's not just you. I know you're Superman, Doc, but, but you got a, a rock star staff. No, Talk th about what it takes for you guys to put on and offer the kind of help that you do. Well, candidly, it is not me. It is my staff. I mean, I wish I could take credit for this, but I tell you what, from our office manager to our community uh, the relations director who you're aware of, you talked to Mr. Chuck before, and, and Mr. Souter and all the groups that, that put us together, it's, 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 it's their fortitude along with mine somewhat to make it go. But, uh, and, 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 the, and it's expensive as well because we do this, uh, not, we don't get cost, you know, we don't get, uh, um, we don't get payment for, for the, the Give Kids a Small program. But, uh, but we do get help from the dental societies that give a, donate things to us as well. But the whole point of this, if I, you know I like to talk as you can Go see. ahead, yeah, but this but, is the talk show. Yeah, but the whole point of this, Mike, is for us to, to disseminate knowledge to the community and to the children and, and to help these kids. Mike, you'd be surprised at the number of children that we see that don't have a dental home, that need dental care. And, and actually, in some, some of the, uh, I'll give you another example, is, is many times for, for in the Hispanic community, for example, that, that, are, that, are, uh, that just don't have anybody that can communicate to them because of the lack of uh, just English and Spanish, you know, uh, uh, English translations back and forth. Uh, and we have, a, our, our staff is like the Rainbow Coalition. We have, you a name, little of everything. Yeah, you name the, the nationality, and we pretty much.